Isaiah 34 and 35. This is going to be incredible because 34 speaks of God's wrath, like the tribulation period. And then 35 speaks of his second coming where he comes and restores this earth and all of creation. And it's just beautiful. Hey, by the way, my friend, this new book is available August 25th, 2024, this year, and this is called See Jesus in the Old Testament, and I'm almost done writing this book, you guys. I think you'll be blessed by it. I'm going to keep the price as low as possible. Um, If you can't afford it, you could still watch the playlist on this YouTube channel, and you can watch it all for free. So, hey, I just want to make sure I can keep this price down as low as I possibly can, right around 7 $7.95, something like that. So hopefully as many as possible can purchase this book and you'll be blessed by it, my friend. So let's get into Isaiah 34 and 35. Let's see right now, my friend. Here we are. So it says, Come near, you nations, to hear and listen, you peoples. Let the earth and all it contains hear, and the world and all that springs from it. For the Lord's anger is against all the nations, and his wrath against all their armies. He has utterly destroyed them. He has turned them over to slaughter. And all the heavenly lights will will wear away. And the sky will be rolled up like a scroll. That speaks, my friend, of God's return. Jesus' return to the earth. It's like the sky will be ripped open or rolled up like a scroll. He will come down. The scripture says he'll land On the Mount of Olives, he'll touch his foot down the Mount of Olives. It'll split in two, and there'll be a river that comes out of that east gate, and it flows down through, which will now be a gorge, right? Through the Mount of Olives, down into the Red Sea, and all the waters will be healed. There'll be tree, the tree of life on both sides with fruit, bearing fruit every month, and the leaves will be for healing. This is going to be an amazing, amazing time, my friend. I'm looking forward to it. Aren't you? So here we go. Let's get back into the presentation. The heavenly lights will wear away and the sky will be rolled up like a scroll. For the Lord has a day of vengeance and a year of retribution for the cause of Zion. Jesus will come back at the end of the tribulation period. You can see that in Revelation chapter 19, where he comes down and he defends Zion. I think it's in chapter 14 as well, but he will defend Zion. A lot of Christians don't like that word. A lot of people hate that word today, but God is all about that. It's his word, you guys. And it's basically, it means Israel. So Get over it if you don't like it, (laughs) okay? (laughs) It's not about you anyway. So, for the Lord has a day of vengeance and the year of retribution for the cause of Zion. The wilderness and the desert will rejoice. Now we're getting into chapter 35. This is where he rules and reigns from Jerusalem and the earth is being restored. The wilderness, which means the desert and, you know, and the desert will rejoice and the desert will shout for joy and blossom. Nature itself is waiting for this, my friend. It will blossom profusely and rejoice with joy and jubilation. So here's a picture of a desert blossoming, but it only lasts for like a week or two, right? In the spring. And then it's all dried up. But here you can see there's areas where it just blossoms and it's beautiful. I believe it'll look like this and then it'll just get more and more beautiful and lush like this, my friend. It's going to be an incredible time when Jesus returns and restores even the creation. And then it says, the glory of Lebanon will be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon, and they will see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the exhausted and make the feeble strong. This is what he's going to do. Say to those with anxious heart, take courage, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. The retribution of God will come but he will save you. So God is in the saving business. Jesus wants to save you. You, yes, you, if you haven't been saved, 
Jesus wants to save you. This is what he's about. And the door is open right now, just like Noah's Ark before that time of great trouble, the judgment that came around around the whole face of the earth, right? The flood, that door of the Ark was open. It says in the Bible in Peter that he preached, that Noah preached to this wicked uh, generation for 120 years and nobody repented. That was outside of Noah's family. It was just Noah and his family who entered into that Ark when the door was open and God shut it, and then they were floating above the earth, right? While this judgment happened, this time of, of God's wrath came upon the whole world. And then after it was done, the ark landed, the door was opened again, and it was a whole new world, a brand new healed world. And that's what we're going to see when Jesus returns with us who were caught up before this great time of trouble, his bride, right? His, his people that are in him, in Christ, like in the ark with him. Him, and then it, and then we come down with him and rule and reign for a thousand years, as the scriptures say. Revelation twenty says it, in six times in seven verses. I think it's literal. So <laughs> let's go back into this. So Isaiah thirty five continues, and we read this. He'll come with vengeance. The retribution of God will come, but He will save you. Then the eyes of those who are blind will be opened, and the ears of those who are deaf will be unstopped. Then those who limp will leap like a deer, and the tongue of those who cannot speak will shout for joy. This really does speak to my heart. I have a lot of friends who are disabled. In fact, my own son, my wife, one of my best friends, he's blind and and is losing his hearing day by day. Great friend of mine. I love him to death. I have another friend who lives down south of here. He he has cancer. Um, you know, there's just a lot of this stuff going on. But someday they will be completely healed. And they'll leap like a deer. They'll hear everything. They'll see everything in a fresh, new, and exciting way. And that's why I love this scripture in Isaiah. It's all about the restoration. Then those who limp will leap like a deer. I love that, don't you? It's so encouraging when you see this. Good stuff, my friend. Good stuff. The scroll of Isaiah. Hey, by the way, if you have not clicked on this playlist right here, how to find Jesus in the Old Testament, you can do so and you can see all the places where Jesus is found. So click on this playlist right here, my friend.